Hey guys, welcome back to MathScape. Today I am attempting the first question from the International Advanced Level Pure Mathematics P2, which was much requested. So without further ado, let's get started. The first question has a function f of x which is equal to x to the power 4 plus a to the power x into 3 minus 3x square plus bx plus 5 where a and b are constants. When f of x is divided by x plus 1, the remainder is 4 and the a part uh, just asks us to show that a plus b is equal to minus 1 and that's of 2 marks. So you have to show the working here or otherwise you can't get the 4 marks here. So this question is all about the polynomials and the division or you can say the long division question but we won't attempt that now if you can see the highlighted part here they say that when f of x is divided by x plus 1 so what i'll do is i'll just take the x value from there remember guys x plus 1 is equal to 0 to find the x value we, we have to set it to 0 and now what i'll do is i'll subtract minus 1 from both sides to get x as a subject now to solve these kind of questions what i'll do is uh, i have my x here this x value and i'll take this x value and plug it wherever i find x here in the f of x there you go i've plugged in my x value as minus 1 into all the x's i could find so what i'll do now is simplify these so after simplifying the brackets i get minus so f of minus 1 is equal to 1 minus a minus 3 minus b plus 5 i can simplify further on to basic maths by adding and subtracting these numbers first but before doing that what i guys want you to do is look at the last statement they said is the remainder is 4 so this whole equation here you can see will be set to equal 4 i'll just uh, plug it in there you go now 4 is equal to 1 minus 3 minus a minus 3 minus b plus 5 now doing some basic maths here now if you can see guys that we have 4 equal to minus a minus b plus 3 in the question they said that show that a plus b is equal to minus 1 and a and b are positive here so to make them positive what i'll do is i'll take them to the other side of the equation or add them to both sides i brought all the common factors or the common terms into the other one side so that's a plus b equal to 3 minus 4 making it or doing some basic maths here 3 minus 4 is equal and you can see that we have clearly shown the a part as a plus b equal to minus 1 those are two marks here and now moving on to the b part which is when f of x is divided by x minus 2 the remainder is minus 23 find the value of a and b now guys this is of four marks the double of the a part because first what we have to do is plug in the value of x here which will be 2 as i stated before in the earlier question and the remainder is 23 so what i'll do is i'll just take the value of 2 and plug it in here and do the same thing here and we will do it or solve the uh, equation simultaneously to find the a and the value of b there you go minus 23 equal to 16 minus 8a minus 12 plus 2b plus 5 doing some basic maths and just simplifying there you go minus 23 equal to minus 8a plus 2b plus 9 so now what we'll do is just bring the common terms to one other side there you go 8a minus 2b is equal to 32 now what i'll do is i'll just bring it as the second equation and bring it down here below the first equation so we have set uh, an a simultaneous equation we both have a and uh, b on both sides of the equation now what i'll do is uh, i can take b and eliminate it but first what i have to do is take these both on the second terms so multiply the first equation which is this equation here this is our first equation just mark it here and i'll multiply it by 2 to eliminate 2b there you go so there you go now that's our revised equation 2a plus 2b equal to minus 2 now that we have 2b and minus 2b on both sides to eliminate them what i'll do is i'll just add these both equations there you go so 2 plus minus 2 is 0 so we can easily add them and 2a plus 8a add those and minus 2 plus 32 so that will become there you go 10a equal to 30 now to make a the subject what i'll do is i'll divide both sides by 10 so my a value is equal to 3 now to find the b value what you can do is you can take any of the uh, two equations and just plug in the a value so what i'll do is i'll just take the first equation plug in a value there so 2 into a or 2 into 3 will give us 6 so 6 plus 2b is equal to minus 2 
now making 2b the subject i subtract 6 from both sides so i'll have 2b is equal to minus 8 makes b making b the subject divide both sides by 2 there you go my b value is minus 4 now guys we have found the value of a and b now to uh, test this there are values are correct what we can do is i'll just bring my calculator up there you go and uh, what i'll do is i'll just go into your mode settings you can see your equations or simultaneous equation or if your answer is correct or not by clicking into the fifth equation or equation folder of uh, function you can see go into the first function there you go and it says that a b c values and that's the first equation and the second value equations now what you can do is our first equation was one plus one that was a plus b which we can take one as value and our c value was minus one there you go and our second value is eight a which is eight minus two remember the sign guys don't forget the sign there you go and our c value is 32 that's a positive one there you go and then press equal again and you can see that our x value is 3 or a value and our y value which is renowned as p value is minus 4 and that's how you solve this question there is a lot of conclusion here that a and b values are different this a value can be minus 4 and the p value can be positive 4 but that's when you use minus 32 and a positive 2b here there you go that's that's when you use these this equation that's when everything changes and our values for a comes in as minus 5 and our b value there you go comes in as 4 both uh, both answers are correct uh, it's up to you how you use these questions thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more videos from this series